Hey guys, okay, so today I decided to do a Selena Gomez inspired look today for you guys. Um, it's, as you can see, it's very, very elegant. It's so beautiful. It can easily be worn casual, you know, obviously without these pretty earrings, but I just wanted to wear these earrings to kind of just dress it up to show you guys how casual and how pretty this look really is. I am loving this hairstyle. It is beautiful every angle that you look. It is gorgeous and I recommend it to anybody that likes messier hairstyles. Some places like not only would you be able to wear this casual but this would be a beautiful updo for any party, for any for prom, for any formal event. You could dress it up or down. It's so beautiful and it was inspired by Selena Gomez. I will link the picture or I'll put the picture in right about now. This is an inspired look. It is not the exact thing. The way that I did it, I think, flatters my face shape a little more. Or Let's get on to the tutorial. I'm going to take a teasing brush, and you're going to want to take the back sections of your hair you're just going to tease it like I am. You're just going to take it and push the brush down. If you don't have a brush, it's okay. Just use the same technique with like a regular brush. Not a comb, but a brush. Still, it, it's better if you have like a, a brush that's somewhat like this. It gives you more volume and it definitely helps. You just kind of want to tease your whole head all over. I just want it to have nice, you know, volume, especially like around the, the back of the head. Now I'm going to take some bobby pins. You're going to want a lot of bobby pins for this. It's going to take a lot. I'm going to take this hair tie off. Okay, so you're going to pull your hair back. It's going to, I want it kind of messy. Again, this is my interpretation of the look. Okay, you're going to pull it all back like this, then you're going to take your head and you're going to take, slide your hand out a little bit where there's a space, not like you would do a ponytail, and you're going to bring it back in and that gives it that pooch. The, like, I'm explaining that good. Then I'm just going to take my hair and I'm going to kind of messily twist it. You just kind of want to just twist it however. You don't want it to be too more ballerina look. We're just going for the messy look. And you're just going to take body pins and you're just basically going to pin it all over till it feels secure. I would get some body pins that match your hair color. Uh, I have blonde and brown in my hair so really any would go for me but I prefer the blonde. back because you want it to have um, loose stragglies I guess is what you would call them you want it to look messy basically is what I'm trying to get at okay so now that I will show you the back but now that I have pretty much done the back part of my hair the next thing that I'm going to focus on I keep looking down at my picture because I have my MacBook camera open so I can kind of see what I'm doing better as well as my mirror right here and then I have the picture of Sabrina right here so I have a lot going on down here so that's why I keep reaching down here is if you're wondering like why does she keep looking down she looks like an idiot but no I have this stuff down here so that's what I'm actually doing next one I'm going to kind of do is I'm just going to kind of take the front my veins and such and I'm going to kind of take a comb and I'm just going to kind of messily brush it back. Then I'm going to take some hairspray. This is um, Matrix Vavoom freezing spray, extra full freezing spray. So I don't know, that's what I'm using, it's what I have. And I'm going to spray it on my fingers 
and I'm just going to take those pieces and I'm just going to kind of work them back. bobby pin to kind of make it stay and to keep all that nastiness out and just kind of hide it in my bun. The wispies he, on her picture are actually going kind of straight back, her bangs are. Um, I don't really think that personally flatters me as much. I still kind of like the side part going on. If you want to have it just like the picture, again, this is just my interpretation, but if you want it just like the picture, instead of kind of pushing it to the side like I did and letting it kind of fall to the side, make sure it goes straight back instead. And also you might not want to focus so much on the middle part as much, but I think it flatters me more and I kind of like the middle part better. Okay, now I'm going to take my curling iron and I'm just going to curl the edges of my hair just like she does. 